What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So I've noticed a lot of problems with my clients and a lot of the viewers of my channel uh, that when they go up and talk to a woman or a girl that they think is really pretty, they can't keep her interested. And it's a lot of the time because they're speaking in a very submissive tone when they speak to them. Meaning when they walk up, they talk in a really high pitched voice. So they'll say something like, uh, hi, my name's Lloyd, rather than, hey, my name's Lloyd. Nice to meet you. There's a very big difference between the two. So in this video, basically what I'm going to cover is I'm going to cover how to have a more attractive vocal tonality when you're talking to women because studies have proven across the board that women prefer a man with a deeper voice. But really what they're saying is that they prefer a guy who sounds more confident. And if you come in with a, you know, a high pitched voice, you're gonna sound less confident, you're gonna sound more submissive and that's not what women want. Women want a dominant guy rather than a submissive guy. So basically in this video, what I'm gonna be giving you is I'm gonna be giving you five easy tips that you can use to make yourself more attractive when you speak, okay? It's gonna deepen your voice and you're gonna sound a lot more confident and dominant when you're speaking to a woman. Okay, before I get into the first tip, if you guys are interested in getting coached by me one-on-one -on -one, and I guarantee you we will take a look at your voice and make sure you're not sounding like a total bitch when you talk to these women, um, Fill out the form down below. If we feel like you're a good fit, we'll get back to you. Okay, cool. So the first tip that I'm going to give you is vocal exercises. Believe it or not, you guys, you can change your voice with vocal exercises. If you sound really high pitched, you can make it sound lower. You can make yourself sound more confident. Now, I'm gonna try to give you a realistic goal in, for this, meaning if you sound like a chipmunk, you're probably not gonna sound like Darth Vader after only doing these vocal exercises for about a month, okay? That's way too big of a jump. But if you do these consistently over a long period of time, you're gonna notice your voice starts to change, okay? So the first exercise that I'm um, gonna give you is the gug. So I to give this to my students a lot. Basically, it's gug, gug. Gug, gug. Now when you make the gug sound, it makes a very low sounding sound and it works the muscles that are going to make your voice lower. Okay, so that's one. I would do that, you know, you can do that for a minute a day or something like that and notice some improvements. The second one is going to be humming. So if you hum, try and get your voice as low as possible. So go, mm -hmm. Try and get your voice really low. This is gonna train your voice again to work those muscles. Now at first when you do this, if you go too low, you can um, it might hurt your voice a little bit. So be careful if it hurts, go back up and do the level that you feel comfortable with, but you know, pushing the barrier. And so when you do this consistently, you're basically gonna be able to go lower and lower and lower, um, and then your voice is gonna sound a lot deeper. Uh, the next thing too that I'm gonna give you is yawning. <laughs> yawning lowers your voice, even if you force yawn. So like, <sighs> Okay, yawning is going to make your voice like, you see how low my voice got when I yawned? That's gonna work those muscles too. So sometimes if I'm about to go you know, shoot a video or, or go out, sometimes I'll do a few of these exercises before I go out. You know, I'll yawn a bit, hum a bit, do a few gugs. Uh, and, and those things usually get my voice to where I want it to be. Okay, cool. The second thing is to pay attention to your voice, especially pay attention to the way that you're ending sentences. If you're ending sentences with an upward inflection, like it's everything's a question, and you're a girl from LA, then you're gonna sound really submissive. Basically what you're telling the person is you're, you're asking the person permission <laughs> uh, because everything's a question. Like, is it okay what I'm saying? Is this okay? Hi, my name's Lloyd. No, end things more definitely. Hey, how's it going? My name's Lloyd. How's that? Oh, interesting. You know, these things are a lot better than sounding with an upward inflection, right? So pay attention to it. If you pay attention to it, you'll notice when you do it and you'll correct it. It's the same thing like when you work on your posture, like the best way to work on your posture is to pay attention to your posture. So pay attention to the way that you're speaking, guys. Okay, uh, the next one is you wanna speak from your core. Speak from lower down. I try and speak from my stomach, but in reality, it's probably coming from my chest because that's where my lungs are, <laughs> okay? If you're speaking from your throat, your voice is gonna sound really high pitched and you're gonna burn out your voice very, very quickly. So speak from lower down, okay? The way that you know where you're speaking from is to do the vocal exercises that I just mentioned 
And then what you want to do is like put your hand over the areas of your body where you feel like the voice is coming from. And if you don't feel any vibrations down here, that means you're not using your lower, your lower body. So play around with that. You know, you can do the humming exercise. You can go, and find out where the vibrations are. And if they, you don't feel any vibrations there, well, that means we have to focus on going lower and lower. Okay, cool. Also, too, this brings me to my fourth point, which is uh, find your tension spots, okay? Whenever we're in a tense situation, whenever we're feeling anxious or we're talking to a person that we're a little intimidated by, whether it's a hot girl or maybe you're at a networking event, you're talking to some guy who's really important, our voices will tend to go up really high pitched, we'll start speaking faster, we'll not be as confident when we're talking, and then when it thinks with that upper inflection. So make sure that when you do this, you notice what parts of your body are are tensing up and remember to relax those areas. Whenever you're tensing your muscles up, you're restricting the amount of air that you can flow through your lungs and you're restricting the use of your muscles in those areas too. So if I, like, I'll give you an example. When I talk to a girl um, that I think is really hot, like, a, like years ago, a long time ago, I, I remember I used to flex my stomach because I wanted to look good, right? I want to look like I have, I have a six pack or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, what I was doing was I was tensing up my body and I was making my voice sound really high pitched and nasally while I did it. Because the truth is, you know, women kind of care about what your stomach looks like, but they really care about what your voice sounds like. So it would have been better if I just relaxed my stomach a little bit, had a little bit of a pooch in my belly, you know, if I'd eat, just eaten or something like that, uh, and have a strong, confident sounding voice. That would have raised my chances a lot more. And that's what I do right now. So if you find yourself being tense in a certain situation, pay attention to that, relax those muscles, okay? The more you relax, the better your voice is going to sound. Okay, and the final thing that I'm going to give you guys is pay attention to your state. So a lot of this is kind of observing the way that you talk and also too, pay attention to how nervous you get, not just the spots that where you're tense, but pay attention to how your voice sounds when you're nervous. Pay attention to how your voice sounds when you're really stressed out. Do you start speeding up like a lot of people do? You know, I've, I've, win, I've won a lot of awards um, you know, in speaking competitions with Toastmasters. I'm, I'm actually a district champion in Toastmasters. Um, and I noticed that a lot of people, when they go up and speak in front of a crowd, they tend to speak a lot faster than they do when they're practicing their speech. So I always say, you know, if your speech is like, you know, seven minutes long, you're probably going to end it at around six minutes. Or sometimes I've even seen people go to five minutes when they end up speaking. And it's because they're really nervous. So notice how you speak when you're nervous, you're in a tense situation, and then make a conscious effort to correct it. So if you notice it at first, that means you can consciously correct it. So before, when I first started noticing this, and I would talk to someone like a really pretty girl or something like that, or, or a guy that I really looked up to, or a woman that I really looked up to too, I would get nervous. And I would start to think, like, I would start to speak fast. I would start to mumble. Uh, I actually used to have a stutter when I was younger, so I, I, I ended up stuttering. I ended up uh, blah, 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 doing that sort of thing. But what I do now is I know that it's there, I concentrate on speaking slowly, and basically everything sounds fine. So I sound really, really confident, although in the moment, I might not be feeling that exact way. I might be feeling really nervous, but I sound good. <laughs> and so for, enough, for, for a lot of people, uh, that's enough. Okay, cool. So those are the five tips that I have for you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, put them in the comments section below. Guys, if you're looking to find a group of like-minded guys, please join my Facebook group. I actually respond to things a lot quicker on there than I will via email or uh, whether it's posted as a YouTube comment. I'm having trouble responding to all the comments these days just because I get, I get way too many messages these days. So, um, And also, if you are interested in my live training schedule, like you want to be trained by me in person, dude, take a look at my live training schedule. If there's a city in there that's not listed, and enough people want me to come to it, I will come. So put that down there, put the dates that you're thinking of coming to, um, and then we'll talk. So thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there. Awesome.